Hello everyone, I'm LH Master 2005 and welcome to Riddle School. It's a puzzle game that I played before when I was 11 years old in 5th grade in elementary school. And this game was pretty fun to play. And this game was created by the creator of One Night at Flumpkins. And this game was released in the year 2006. So let's start the game. Jodo Chrome presents that's the creator who created One Night at Flumpties. And this game. <sighs> I've been sitting here for two hours straight listening to edition facts. All because I teased somebody. I'm in a special class. I don't even have a smart teacher. Right now, I'm as free as a bird in a birdcage. Alright, that's it. I'm getting out of this school. Oh yeah, I agree with you. What's 131 plus 42 again? I forget. Uh. Man. Punching effect. No outlet there. I mean, no outlet here. That's the teacher, Mr. Kaham. He asks be lots of questions because he doesn't know any of the answers. That's it. Hey teacher, could I sharpen my pencil, please? Only one person at a time. That means yes. Thank you. Now that was sharp. I can't believe I said that. To whom the bell doesn't toll. It rains when school ends, which it doesn't ever need I say more. Five for Prez. Five is a popular guy in this school. It's because of his vote, Five shirt. Just get everyone's attention? Alright. Just gonna drink some water. Ah, now that's good water. Okay. Move on. Cool hall pass. Because I could just let somebody know that I have a hall pass. If I don't have a hall pass, I'll get in trouble. Alright. Bar fountain. Going to Miss Coffee's classroom. That's my teacher, Miss Coffee, who drinks more coffee than anyone else I know. She finishes teaching. I mean, let me start that over. She finishes teaching lessons two hours early in a hard to understand jittery voice. That's Smiley. She's the only one in the school who likes learning. Yeah, I love her uh, attitude. It's positive attitude. Smiley's also the one I made fun of to be in that special class. Man, you shouldn't be making fun of her. She loves school. Like I do. That's Thread. My best friend and the most board class member. That's Zach, who is always very cold. He has no problem freezing the water fountain. Alright, if he does, nobody would drink water from the water fountain. Earth is flat. Why are you teaching these kids about Earth? Earth is round, not flat. Oh, trash. Sent in by Oscar. Wow, feather duster in a dust bin. Ironic. Alright, Jander's Closet, what are you doing to give your little dust tool there? You found my feather duster. Keep the chain. Thank you. I appreciate it. You don't want to know what happened to there. Okay, but I'm going to guess on that one. Somebody peed. Or spilled water, like uh, Gatorade or water flavor. Flavored water, I mean. Flavored water. So, it's great for your hands and bad for your eyes. Yeah, really bad for your eyes, but really good for your hands. These hands. I love Dobo. Five was not here. Ossity are my favorite color. I can't read that. Let's get out of that move on. Hey, it's me, Richie, the hall guard. Got a hall pass? I do. Well, check it out. Yes, I do, so please. Get out of my way. This school has seven students and more than 50 lockers. No sanity. 
Ooh, give me a cookie. I don't have a cookie, but you can buy yourself one. Take the dollar, fatty. I think I'm... Let me start over. I think I'm safe. The last fire we ever had was when Miss is Coffee's Coffee Spa. Miss, uh, let me start over. I think I'm safe. The last fire was we. I think I'm safe. The last fire we ever had was when Miss is Coffee's Coffee spontaneously combusted. Ooh, that's not good. Cafeteria. That's a diagram of cafeteria, reminding us all what it looked like clean. Okay, start it over. That's a diagram of cafeteria, reminding us all what it looked like clean. The cookie vending machine is unfortunately broken. I'm sorry it's broken, but you'll get it fixed. That's Greg, the least hungry and most restful student in school. He needs rest. Everybody needs rest if they're tired. Those are coffee grounds. This coffee must have been in here today. That's the school famous smiley smudge. That's how I make fun of smiley with mustard. You shouldn't. That's bullying. Somebody managed to spill their blueberry wet aid up there. That's greed. Unrecognizable gunk. Getting out of school through that door is out of question. Yeah, because it's covered with barricades and nobody can escape. Except the left side, because the left side is like you need a key for that door. Which I'm going to get right now. What are you doing here? I need to talk to the principal. And why is that? I want to tell him a joke. Oh, jokes are always fun. Go right on in. Let me start over. Oh, jokes are always fun. Go right on it. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, going in the principal's office. We're gonna get that key and get out of here. Hey, principal, I got a joke for you. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take your key. Just kidding. I'm gonna take it. See ya. Boom. Slam the door. How nice of you to, how nice of you to drop by. Bye then. See ya. Like, actually seeing you, like, getting out of the school. And, and, boom, we did it. We escaped school. We did it. Riddle School 2006. That's where it came out. Now go read a good book. All right. Now we're back at the main menu. Let's check out the disclaimer. Disclaimer, this is a spoof tribute of Pico's School by Tom Bolt. Yeah, this game is created by uh, Newgrounds, the creators who created Alien Homeroid and Castle Crashers. The most well-known, well-action scripted game of its time. It was made in Flash 3, which now seems ancient. I wanted to make a version of Pico's School without the vulgarity or violence and a very different plot. The layout is basically the same and the graphics are, well, differently the same. This game wasn't made to insult anyone whatsoever and was only created for entertainment. Good. This game was really entertaining. I played this game when I was 11 years old. It was a pretty good one. And we're going to the fun facts. Time to make three weeks. Library items. Nine nine items. Characters seven. The original plan for this game was to escape by way of shooting. It would have involved Kareem Kell's madness characters, violence, and use of mildly inappropriate language. Well, that idea quickly died away. Thankfully enough, but I still kept a touch I had in the original. On the first classroom blackboard, Mathness is written. Credits. Art Animation Programming. John Bro, that's like the original creator's name. Now it's John O'Crow. Music. The Temple by Pepsilio. Madness 6. Split Mech and Calico by Cheshire. Inspiration. Top. Tom Bolt. Back to the menu. 
So that is real school. So if you guys want to play this game, go to the description down below and download this game on Game Chat. And if you guys liked this video, please like and subscribe if you liked this video. And I would appreciate by the like. And I'll see you in the next game of Riddle School. Have an awesome day, you guys.